All right, today we're gonna to talk about how to improve your pull-ups using a 41 inch loop style resistance band. So pull-ups are a great body weight exercise to work on developing your upper body strength, specifically your back muscles. You'll also work on your grip strength and your forearms because you're gonna be hanging from this bar all of your body weight and having to do a pull-up. That can be really difficult if you're just starting out. So one thing that you can do to give yourself some assistance so that you can work your way up to whatever your body weight is, is to use 41 inch style loop bands. So the 41 inch bands that I'm using today are from Clench Fitness. They'll all be linked down in the description below. I have the three most common pull-up assistance bands that we sell. It's our purple inch and an eighth wide band, our green inch and three quarter inch wide band, and also our blue two and a half inch band. So the wider the band, the more assistance that you're gonna get. So the purple is the least, the green is the, the mid range, and the blue is the high end range. And with the purple, you're gonna be roughly around probably 40 to 50 pounds worth of assistance at the very bottom. And with the blue, you're gonna be upwards of around 60 to 80 pounds of assistance. So ultimately, you're gonna to have to play with the, the band resistance a little bit to kind of fine tune it to wherever you're at in the progression of, of strength for yourself. So to set this up, it's really simple. You just grab yourself a pull-up bar, and now whether you're working in like a door frame style pull-up bar, or you have a rack style pull-up bar like this, or something that's mounted to the ceiling, you might have to fine tune how you set it up as well as where you anchor um, to the band. So with all of these, you're gonna anchor right to the pull-up bar, wrap it around, just like you would wrap a band around anything, it's a slip knot style. And then you kind of have a couple of options when it comes to attaching this band to yourself. The first option that I like to do most often due to height constraints, so this is a seven foot bar. Most often your door frames are shorter than seven feet. So you're not gonna have a whole lot of, I'm already standing here on the ground. So you're gonna have to kind of bend your knees. So what I like to do is hook it around my knee, just like this, pull it down, get it comfortable, and then get into your pull up, whatever pull up grip you're using. I'll do the wide grip to start. And it's just like that straightforward. So that's the one option. The other option is to hook it around your foot. So you can just grab it, push it down. Now, obviously I'm stretching this band a lot further when I hook it onto my foot. And with resistance bands, the further you stretch them, the more resistance they produce. So I've probably, from here to here, I've almost doubled the resistance or the assistance that you're gonna be getting from this lift. So it's gonna be actually easier for me to do a pull up this way, as opposed to hooking it on my knee. So ultimately, that's something that you're gonna to have to fine tune, but that is the way to set it up. You can either hook it up to your knee, hook it up to your foot, and then all you have to do is fine tune the resistance to get the appropriate rep range that you want for your exercise. One more quick tip, if you're a, a super beginner or you're a heavier individual and you're just starting out and you're, you're gonna be using one of these heavy duty Lot, like the two and a half inch wide band that puts out a lot of resistance, you might have trouble getting into this thing just because of the amount of resistance that, or the amount of assistance that it's gonna provide. So like to, to actually stretch this thing down and get it onto your foot is going to be a challenge. So I would recommend starting with the knee. It's always easiest to just grab the band up at the top, get it down there and hook it on your knee. See, that was a little bit difficult for me but once you play with it a few times, you'll get the hang of it. Or you can always have a partner come in and help you get this thing hooked up. One more option, if you're having a hard time getting into this heavy band, you can always use two lighter bands as long as they kind of come out to about the same width, which they do when they, these two together equal a blue band just about. You can actually use two bands, hook it up around the top, just like you would with the other one. And then you can, you can strap on one band at a time to get you loaded into this exercise. So I just go one and two, way easier. Got plenty of assistance, you know, 
just cranking out the reps. And then when you dismount, nice and simple. So that always is an option if you're just starting out and you need a lot of that assistance or if you're using high reps or whatever the case may be. All right, so last thing I'm gonna talk about is kind of a how do you, how do you progress and, and get stronger with pull-ups using bands. The, the most common way is to kind of use it just like you would use free weights or machines when you're trying to build strength. So you're gonna do a few sets per, per exercise. So say you're gonna do pull-ups a few times a week. You grab the, the one day you do pull-ups, maybe you do three or four sets and you start out with your first set being kind of the warm up. You do, you know, 10 to 20 reps. And then as you progress through your, your second and third set, try to drop down that assistance. So go to a smaller band on the second set and an even smaller band on the third set so that you're using more of your own body strength instead of the band to help you accomplish that pull up. And ultimately what you're trying to do is work your way down to a very small band and eventually no band at all. All right, so that is a quick summary on how to use loop style resistance bands for pull ups. Again, everything is, all the, if you need bands, they're linked down in the description from Clint Fitness. These are great bands, they're gonna last you a long time and you don't have to worry about them snapping on you as long as you take care of them. If you like this video, be sure to drop a like and also if you have any questions or comments, be sure to drop some comments down in the comments below so that we can help you get better with bands and so that we can help grow this channel. We wanna help you in any way, shape, or form. So be sure to drop comments and we'll be happy to reply and, and keep you progressing in your exercises.